I'm Shigeo Ijui. I'm a torture sommelier. I help people get true justice. Many people like to travel. Wow, look at this place. <laughs> She's all alone. This should be easy. Seeing new things in a new place fascinates many. But sometimes you let your guard down due to all the excitement. Hey, I'm here on my own too. Wanna hang out together? Oh yeah? Sure, sounds fun. And guys like him, they take advantage of that. Tourists were easy prey for them. Dumb bitch! Ah! Crap. Whatever. They'll never trace her back to me. Then they try to cover their tracks. But nobody gets away from me. Nobody. <laughs> Another one. Hey, asshole. Think fat. Your actions always catch up to you. Animals like him don't deserve to live. Help! Help! You won't be needing those anymore. Ha! It was my job to set things straight. Today I was meeting with a new client. Please sit. Thanks. It was a middle-aged man. I put on some tea. Then he started talking. I heard you help people get true justice. Is that true? That depends. Then he opened his eyes wide. He wanted vengeance. I... I lost my daughter abroad. And the guy who did it, he's still out there. What? Um, tell me more. I might be able to help him out. His name was Mr. Karata. He had a daughter, Kana. He loved her very much. Daddy, what do you want for your souvenir? Just get home safely, dear. That's all I care about. She was about to graduate college. She was going to Romania for a graduation trip. He lost his wife many years ago. He raised her single-handedly. Daddy, I love you. I love you too, Kana. <laughs> she meant everything to him. He was worried about her going abroad. But she's a grown woman now. I can't treat her like a child forever. But he also knew she wasn't a kid anymore. Then, a few days later... Hi, Daddy. Love you. Have fun! He drove her to the airport. This was the last time he saw her alive. A few days after, he got a call. He couldn't believe it. What? Kata? No. No! It was the police. They said they found his daughter dead in Romania. He couldn't believe it at first. <laughs> But when he saw her corpse, reality set in with him. She was strangled to death. I'm sorry to say this, but she was sexually assaulted as well. No. No! They also found traces of sexual assault. Since the crime was committed outside of Japan, the police couldn't do anything. The police? Screw them! They're useless! So he took matters into his own hands. He started looking into the case himself. The incident occurred on the day she got in. Hey, you need a tour guide? I've been doing this for years. Huh? Oh. This guy came up to her at the airport. He told her he was a local tour guide. It was late and all the buses were gone. She was thinking about taking a cab, but... Uh, sure, I guess. Could you take me to this hotel then? Sure thing! She decided to trust him. But then a few hours later... He took her out into the woods. No! Dumb bitch! Come here! Then he did horrible things to her. The main suspect was a man in his 20s. His name was Brad. I hired a local PI to look into him. He's been arrested multiple times for sexual assault. This guy is an animal. <sighs> no! There were some eyewitnesses at the airport. And the police caught him. But he was let go the next day. They didn't have enough evidence. No fingerprints, no traces of bodily fluids. And that's what the report said. What? Mr. Karata hired all kinds of people to get more intel. Then he found out that Brad's dad was a member of Congress. Ugh, he used his father to make this go away. He didn't have any proof yet, but he just knew it. And so he came to me. It was him for sure, but the police there have been bought off. He stood up from the couch. Then he got down on the floor. Please! I need your help! Please avenge my daughter! She meant the world to me! He can't just get away with this! 
I needed more evidence, and the target lived abroad, so it wasn't going to be easy. No worries. I'll take care of it. Thank you. Thank you! But I was the only one who could help him. Time to get to work. If I'm going to Romania, I'm gonna need his help. Mr. Darius! Long time no talk. Shigeo, it's good to hear your voice. He was a torture sommelier based in Romania. I told him about my case and asked him for help. I heard about that case. It was Brett for sure. So why was he let go? His father is a congressman. He used his powers to sweep it under the rug. Unbelievable. So my client was right. This guy was an animal. He doesn't deserve to live. I'm coming for you, buddy. You're dead. And I'm gonna take out his father as well. A few days later, we flew to Romania. Sir, what is Mr. Darius like? Well, from the victim's perspective, he's the devil. He's pure evil. Oh, I see. After we landed, we headed over to his castle. Welcome, friend! Darius, it's good to see you. Mr. Darius, one of the few torture sommeliers in Scandinavia. Darius was Wallachian nobility. Scream for me! Burn in hell! Ah! And he had killed all his victims by impalement. He said he knew the perfect opportunity to snatch up Brad and his father. His father is hosting a fundraiser, and he invited Brad. Hmm, I see. Maybe he's doing this to emphasize his innocence. A few days later, we waited for him outside the house. Two guards. This should be easy. Get out of my way! <laughs> I started off by taking out the guards. Who the hell are you? Time to party. You're coming with me. You too, asshole. Come here. <laughs> we grabbed them both. Then we brought them back to Darius's torture chamber. Let's wake them up. Use this, Shigeo. Crush their shoulders with it. Ah, sounds good. So I grabbed the flail. Then I struck Brad's shoulder. Get up! Now! Ah! My shoulder! Morning, asshole. Lovely day, isn't it? Guys like him make me sick. Then I did the same to his father. You too! Get up! Ah! You know who I am? Does it look like I care? They were screaming at first, but eventually they stopped talking. I know you killed this woman. Do you feel any remorse? Then you use your powers to sweep it under the rug, right? We started questioning them. I was hoping to hear words of remorse, but... It's not my fault she was dumb enough to believe me! And she enjoyed it! Yeah, she came on to him! I'm not gonna force my career down the drain because of some slut from the Far East! All they cared about was themselves. And did he just say she enjoyed it? What's wrong with this guy? I've heard enough! It's time! Darius! Shikeo! It's all set! Let's do this! We untied them and tied them to a different machine. <laughs> this is convenient. Yeah, I work on my own, so... I gotta find ways to cut corners. This thing made the process of impalement much easier. We placed the pile near their anuses. Then we started hammering it in. Oh! Ah! They started screaming in pain. I kept hitting the pile with my hammer. Brad was in terrible pain. Ah! That should do it. Ah! Ah! The pile was in. I released him from the machine. But we weren't done with them yet. Next, we set the pile on the base. <coughs> Look at them squirm. We fix the pile perpendicular to the floor. Normally, we just wait for them to die, but... Okay then. Can I try out your new equipment? Of course. Give me a second. Darius was a pro at this. He liked to spice things up a bit. Rukawa and I flipped the switch at the base of the machine. A low whirring sound echoed throughout the room. 
A few moments later, we could smell their flesh burning. They started squirming in pain. The face had a heater inside it, and the pile was made of tin. I got the idea from this torture method called Shakuja. It's from ancient China. Oh, you know about the Shakuja? I'm impressed. It was a pretty rare form of torture. I was impressed that he knew about it. Shakuja was a snake-shaped torture equipment made of tin. Tin was very soft and its thermal conductivity was extremely high. Speed it! Where's the rest of you? Ah! They wrapped it around the victim and poured boiling water on the snake. The pile inside them was getting hotter by the second. Ah! 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 The tin pile was burning them from the inside out. They weren't gonna last much longer. Last chance. Beg for forgiveness. Maybe Shigeo will forgive you. Who knows? Darius took off their gags. They started talking right away. Please! I'll turn myself in! Me too! I'll come clean about everything! They started begging me to spare them. But my mind was already made up. But why? You guys are enjoying this. What? No, we're not! Well, to me, it looks like you're enjoying it, so... No! Ha! Look at them squirm. I turned the heat all the way up. The melting point of tin was 450 degrees Fahrenheit, so... Ah! A few moments later, the tin started melting inside of them. They screamed in pain. A few moments later, they drew their last breath. The world is better off without them. Good work. You hungry? I'll make you something. Thanks. I didn't feel much like eating, but I didn't want to be rude. The next day, we thanked Darius and headed home. Thanks for everything. Of course. Keep up the good work. I couldn't have done this without him. When I got home, I told my client that the job was finished. Hopefully, this will help him move on with his life. You can run. But you can never hide from the torture, Somalier. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos. And please subscribe to the channel.